Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by today. How many of you want joy? I do. And I'm sure that you do too. We all want joy, laughter, comfort, and that will come from the almighty hand of God. But let me read you this verse of scripture. It's found in Psalm 126. At the end of the chapter it says, Those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy. He who goes out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy carrying sheaves with him. Now, what are sheaves? They're bundles of wheat. It means gaining a harvest, a good crop. How many of you want a good harvest in your life, a good crop? And it says, those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy. Now, that brings to my mind something that is very important in our lives. And that is prayer. How many of you spend time in prayer? That is one of the most important things in our lives is prayer. And many people say they're Christians, but they don't spend time in prayer much they don't spend time reading their Bibles much and how can you reap a good spiritual harvest if you don't spend time in prayer shedding tears for your friends your families your nations there is an intercessory prayer too. Making up your mind that you're going to pray for your loved ones, your families, your friends, and even strangers. I have a long prayer list. I like to pray for people. But why would God want us to pray so much? I think it's because he wants us to be part of the plan. He wants us to have a relationship with him, a strong relationship, and that takes prayer. But he wants us to pray not only for ourselves, but our friends, families, strangers, others. He wants to pray for our nation. And you may very well ask, well, why can't God just undertake for our nation or others on his own? God created man and he gave man a living soul. He breathed into man's nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. That breath came from God. He wants to have communion with us. He wants us to have a strong relationship with Him. And we won't be able to gain a lot in our lives if we're not willing to spend time in prayer. It's a critical matter. And if we take prayer seriously, if we have the wisdom to see that we need to pray for our nation, then we will go forth weeping, but we will come again with tears of joy and laughter, and we will be carrying our sheaves with us we will be joyful 
and rejoicing because we will be gaining a wonderful, great crop from the almighty hand of God. That's what he promises. He's going to answer our prayers when we take time, that critical time, to pray. And God will deliver our nation. But God wants us to do two things. He wants us to pray over our nation. He wants to He wants us to pray over the upcoming election. And he wants us to get out and vote. If you can get out and vote health-wise, get out and vote. It is so very critical that we do this. And God will give us a wonderful, great harvest. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.